In the last few lectures, we had discussion on ratio and proportion and now we know what are they. So in this lecture, we are going to have 10 problems on ratio and proportion. So let us move on to our problem number one. In this problem, we have four points A, B, C and D and these four points lie in order along a straight line. Moving further, it is also given that AB ratio BD is equal to 1 is to 5 and AC ratio CD is equal to 7 is to 11. And we need to find the ratio AB ratio BC ratio CD. Now before I explain you the solution of this problem, I want you to pause this video and try to find out the ratio on your own. I hope you tried and you are done now. Let's move on to the solution. As per the problem, we have four points A, B, C, D and they are on a straight line that two in the same order. Now as per the question, A, B ratio B, D is equal to 1 is to 5. So this length will be 1 and this length will be 5. Similarly, A, C ratio C, D is equal to 7 to 11. So this length will be 7 and this length will be 11. Now notice in the first ratio there is no common factor so we will assume in this case the common factor is x. So here we will have 1 multiplied to x and here we will have 5 multiplied to x. Because including the common factor in the ratio we will have 1x ratio 5x. So here we have 1x and here we have 5x. Similarly in this second ratio, let's say the common factor is y. So here we will have 7y and here we will have 11y. Now when you focus on the length AD, you will find it is equal to 1x plus 5x and it is also equal to 7y plus 11y. So we can say that 6x, x plus 5x, 6x, it is equal to 7y plus 11y that is 18y. So from here we will have x equal to 3y. Very important relation in this case. Now what do we need to find out? We need to find out AB ratio BC ratio CD. AB it is equal to x ratio BC. It is equal to 7y minus x. It is equal to 7y minus x and it is also equal to 5x minus 11y. I will take it as 7y minus x. Moving on to CD, it is equal to 11y. Now in this ratio, we don't have a common factor. x and y are two different factors, therefore they cannot be common and that's why we want to have either x in this or y in this. So let us try to get rid of x and have y in the ratio. In place of x, we can have 3y from here. So we have 3y ratio. 7y minus 3y will be 4y. 11y, we don't have to do anything here. Now we are left with only y and y is our common factor. So we will remove it to have our answer. So 3 ratio, 4 ratio, 11 is the answer of our problem number 1. Now we will move on to our problem number 2. In this problem, we have 115 books and these 115 books were distributed among 3 students in the ratio 2 over 3 ratio, 3 over 4 ratio, 1 over 2. And we need to find how many books the first student got. There are four options and we need to choose one correct option. The problem is very simple. The given ratio is 2 over 3, ratio 3 over 4, ratio 1 over 2. Let's say the common factor is x. So we will have 2x over 3, ratio 3x over 4, ratio x over 2. And 2x over 3 is the number of books first student got. Now we will shift our focus on finding out the factor x. We can have the factor x from the fact that there are total 115 books. So when you add 
the books got by first student, second student and third student you should have 115. When you take the LCM you will have 12 and in the numerator you will have 8x plus 9x plus 6x. This is equal to 115. From here we will have 23x divided by 12 equal to 115 or we can say 23x equal to 12 multiplied to 115 giving us 13 80. Now when you divide 23 on both the sides you will have x and it will be equal to 1380 divided by 23 which is 60. So in this way we have obtained the common factor x and now we will put x here. So the books got by the first student will be equal to 2 multiplied to 60 divided by 3 and this is equal to 40. So option C is the correct option. So in this way we are done with our problem number 2. Now we will move on to our problem number 3. As per this problem the perimeter of a triangle is 460 and the ratio of the three sides is 3 ratio 11 ratio 9. The ratio of the three sides of a triangle is 3 ratio 11 ratio 9. Let's say the common factor is x. So we have 3x ratio 11x ratio 9x and we need to find the longest side. The longest side will be 11x and if we can find out x we will have the exact value of this longest side and we can choose one option out of given 4. So now we will focus on finding out the common factor x. We will use the fact that the sum of all the three sides of a triangle will be equal to the perimeter of the triangle. So the sum of all the three sides will be 3x plus 11x plus 9x. This is equal to 23x and 23x should be equal to 460. When you divide 23 on both the sides you will have 20 as the value of common factor x and therefore the longest side will be equal to 11 multiplied to 20 giving us 220. Option A is the correct option. Let's now move on to our problem number 4. In this problem we need to find the ratio A ratio B ratio C when A is equal to 7 over 12 B and B is equal to 10 over 3 C. There are 4 options and we need to choose one correct option. As per the problem A is equal to 7 over 12 B this we can write as a over b equal to 7 over 12 or we can write a ratio b is equal to 7 ratio 12. Similarly b is equal to 10 over 3 c which we can write as b ratio c is equal to 10 ratio 3. So this is what is given in the problem and we are required to find a ratio b ratio c. We can have a ratio B ratio C directly if the common term in the two ratios is same. B is the common term. B in the first ratio is equal to 12 and B in the second ratio is equal to 10. 12 and 10 are not same and that's why we cannot have the ratio directly. We will use our shortcut method. I will write down the three terms we have A, B and C. From the first ratio a is 7 and B is 12. So below A we will write 7, below B we will write 12. From the second ratio B is 10 and C is 3. Below B we will write 10 and below C we will write 3. Now we will perform the multiplication. We will multiply 7 to 10 giving us 70. We will multiply 12 to 10 giving us 120 and we will multiply 12 to 3 giving us 36. So A ratio B ratio C is equal to 70 ratio 120 ratio 36. This is not the final answer. We have a common factor 2. When you remove the common factor 2 you will have 35 ratio 60 ratio 18. 
when you focus on the given options you will find option a is the correct option let's move on to our problem number five in this problem we need to find the fourth proportion of one three and seven we know a ratio b when in proportion with c ratio d d is the fourth proportion we need to find d a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 7 so we have 1 ratio 3 in place of proportion we will have equal to c is 7 and we need to find d from here we will have 1 over 3 equal to 7 over d performing the cross multiplication you will have d equal to 7 multiplied to 3 giving us 21 so 21 is the answer of problem number 5 let's move on to problem number 6 here we have a ratio b equal to 3 ratio 4 b ratio c equal to 7 ratio 9 and c ratio d is equal to 5 ratio 7 we need to find a ratio d we will use our shortcut method to find out a ratio d we will first write down all the terms we have from the first ratio we have a as 3 and b as 4 a as 3 b as 4 from the second ratio we have b as 7 and c as 9 from the third ratio we have c as 5 and d as 7 now we will perform the multiplication we will first multiply 3 7 and 5 3 multiplied to 7 multiplied to 5 will give us 105 then we will multiply 4 to 7 and then the result we will multiply to 5 this will give us 140 after this we will multiply 4 9 and 5 giving us 180 and finally we will multiply 4 9 and 7 giving us 200 and 52 and this is a ratio b ratio c ratio d with the common factor we want to find out a ratio d so we will have a ratio d equal to 105 ratio 252 in these two the common factor is 21 when you divide 105 by 21 you will have 5 and when you divide 252 by 21 you will have 12 so we have a ratio d equal to 5 ratio 12 option a is the correct option now it's time to move on to our last four problems in the seventh problem we need to find the mean proportion of 8 and 12 we know when we have a ratio b in proportion with b ratio c then this b is known as the mean proportion or the second proportion so from here we will have a ratio b equal to b ratio c or we can write we have a over b equal to b over c this will be equal to b squared equal to a multiplied to c after cross multiplication we have this so b is equal to under root a multiplied to c in this problem 8 is equal to a and 2 it is equal to c so b it is equal to 4 so this is the answer of our problem number 7 time to move on to our problem number 8 in this problem we need to find out third proportion which is c and c from here you can see it is equal to b squared divided by a b is equal to 2 in the problem and 1 is our a so c it will be equal to 2 squared divided by 1 which will give us 4 as the answer so we are done with problem number 8 now we will move on to problem number 9 and in this problem a plus b over a minus b is equal to 19 over 13 and we need to find a over b so we want to have a in the numerator and we want to have b in the denominator and this can be possible if we add a minus b in the numerator and we subtract a minus b from the denominator and if you remember componendo and dividendo rule you will find we are doing nothing special but simply applying the componendo and dividendo rule so from componendo and dividendo rule we will have 
a plus b plus a minus b divided by a plus b minus a minus b giving us minus a plus b the same thing we will do on the right hand side we will have 19 plus 13 divided by 19 minus 13 plus b and minus b will cancel out a and minus a will cancel out so on left hand side we will have a plus a in the numerator and we will have b plus b in the denominator and on the right hand side we will have 32 19 plus 13 is 32 and 19 minus 13 is 6 from here we will have a over b equal to 16 divided by 3 this is our answer so in this way we are done with our ninth problem and now it is time to move on to our final problem of this lecture which is the homework problem in this problem there is a village and the ratio of men and children in the village is 11 is to 3 and the ratio of women and children is 5 is to 2 and there are 42 children in total in the village and we need to find out the total population of the village so this is the homework problem once you have your answer don't forget to post it in the comment section and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one